Hey, this is a quick video just to show this ER32 adjustable nut. And this is a brown and sharp, and it measures to 50 millionths per hash. Now I'm going to rotate this. This is just a steel uh, shank on a mounted grinding point. So there will be some surface roughness on it. And the movement you see in here is primarily going to be the surface roughness, but I'll go ahead and rotate it. So this is with the runout dialed out as much as I could initially get it. So you can see if, if the angle's a little weird, it looks like it's going uh, two hash marks, but it's actually going one hash mark. And it's primarily the surface roughness that you're seeing that's causing that movement. And if I just rotate it and then let it settle, you can see that. that this is actually running at a runout of 50 millionths, which is phenomenal. Uh, it's actually this headstock is turned upside down and stuck in a vise. This is a Glock CNC ER32 headstock with the adjustable nut in it. Now, interestingly, the collet that's inside there is just a cheap asian uh, made collet that they're like seven dollars and actually the advantage of using the inexpensive low precision collets is weirdly they are more adjustable than a super precision one that we sell that has uh, two ten thousandths run out on it actually better off buying a cheaper one and using it in this and the other thing i will say is when you're dialing out the run out using these Take your time to get a little bit used to it. Don't twist on the the, the little uh, set screws in here very much at a time. Just make small incremental uh, movements because when you adjust one, it pushes it on the other side. You, you can get yourself out of whack. So small, uh, little adjustments. And once you get used to this, you can dial these in actually pretty quickly. And if you've got, instead, I prefer a grinding point with a carbide shaft because they're a whole lot smoother and they tend to actually be straighter. We could probably get this down even a little better if this were a carbide shaft. Anyway, there you have it. This is the adjustable ER nut. You can get them at GlockCNC.com.